everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jessie if you're new here I unbox subscription boxes and more today is the and more part I have another blind date with a book box from Mystic Forest Crafts she kind of does just one-off boxes uh, a few times a year and I heavily advertise this uh, this is the Earth Day box and I know, yeah, it's May now, I do apologize. But if you ordered it for Earth Day, you would have received it in time for Earth Day. Uh, Earth Day was Saturday the 22nd. I got this box Thursday night, uh, April 20th. So yeah, you would have definitely had enough time. Um, now, unfortunately though, the way it's curated, or books and orders have to be completed ahead of time. So she wasn't able to have me show the box and have it still be available. Um, but if you will, but that's gonna hopefully change for June. Hopefully I'll be able to, hopefully if everything comes in in time, I'll be able to show you uh, what is in the books, in the boxes before, uh, well, basically while you're still able to purchase it. Uh, but before we go into more detail, I'll um, show you guys wanna get in the box and see what's in this one. So, Here's your sneak peek, and if you want to see what's in the rest of the box, then please stay tuned. Alright, I hate to start the unboxing on a bad note, but as I was opening everything up, I did notice that there was a leak, and you can see it on all down this tissue paper. We'll have to see if it got onto anything else, but I think it was this tiny little jar here. It's very very sticky uh, it was supposed to be I believe a jar of honey um, so unfortunately I ho I'm pretty sure it may have gotten on one of the books at, but it's all over the tissue paper for sure uh, it was a sample of local honey by JP's bees so I, I can't remember uh, m most of on the earth they uh, she does have a nice product guide they have the Instagram to go with the small businesses because she does source from a lot of small businesses which I like. I can't remember what she said about JP's bees. Um, just wish it was a bigger jar and something or wrapped in something that would have protected the items from any spillage. Uh, so it looks like we have plenty of wonderful goodies to go with our books and um, are having an Earth Day theme. I love this artwork here. I'm not sure if uh, the curator did that or not, but it, either way, it's really pretty. It's on the front of the product guide. And with that, we got one wooden art card display. This was by BA uh, Candles. I'll have, like I said, all the Instagrams uh, handles for you guys to check out. And it would be really great if you could, you know, if you love supporting small businesses and you like some of these items, check out their Instagrams. Follow them. You know, we the it doesn't take any money to support and follow a small business and that includes Mystic Forest Crafts, that includes you know some of us YouTubers it doesn't cost any money to subscribe, to follow, to give likes and comments on Instagram, on, on YouTube, etc. Uh, so that's if you know if you want to support that can, those ways are appreciated and can help more than you know. Anyway back to Earth Day. I really do like this card holder uh, it's perfect size for this particular card and I really uh, I, I always you know me I love my wooden carvings now it looks like there was an Earth Day sticker here and a shape of a raindrop mine got bent but I could I'm gonna use it for journaling I could still probably just glue it down and it would be fine um, so that's that's really pretty I like that I definitely have been doing a lot of environmental journaling so we got a lot of bookish items. This is a Mother Nature's Ozone and Cypress. It's a soy wax hand poured. Oh, they're okay, they're wax melts. All right, you can kind of see them in there. They are also by the company at BA Candles. It's one set of wax melts, melts custom scent. Uh, let's see, I don't, can't really smell them out of the package. Um, but they look really pretty. You can kind of see they might be in the shape of stars. That's really cool. All right, so I got a second sticker, eco-friendly, and that one wasn't bent, so that's really pretty. You guys know I like my stickers for journaling. Uh, next week, the art cards here are by 
uh, Megan Cousins. And she it looks like she's got a bunch of books out here on the side. And then you can actually scan the QR code and get a short story written by her that came with this box. So that's really cool. So we've got, I think, you know, we're thinking spring here. We've got a couple at a baseball game. Uh, that's a really nice art card. Uh, the change up. We've got a pair of hikers there standing way too close to some bears, especially a mom and a cub. Um, but that's a very nice piece of art. I, I, I do like that. Let me know if you guys know in the comments below why it's called the change up. Maybe, maybe these are probably her books. Uh, have fun on the trail. And then it says like, don't pet the bear and it's very so close, but anyway pointing things, don't eat it, don't pet it, don't leave it behind like the newspaper and don't leave the trail as in walking off the beaten path. You can see like there's a, there's a beehive there if you go off the beaten path. Um, gosh, I have a story about that. Um, so yeah, Megan Cousins, her books are, book one is The Curveball by, okay, so that makes sense of the baseball. The Curveball, Penelope and Jake. I don't know if these are romance novels or what. Uh, book two is The Change Up, Jenna and Marcus. Book three is The Fastball by Amanda and James. They're not by, but it just says Amanda and James. Uh, so yeah, maybe she's a romance author. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, but there is a short story. Book four is coming in August 20, sorry, autumn 2023, The Walk Off. So if you're interested, it sounds like a series you might be interested in. But we've got a bunch of these cards that can go in to our card holder. So that's very nice. And Mystic Forest Crafts did make this lovely bookmark here. And as well as the product guide, of course. So the beginning with the beautiful print that she did. Uh, pollinator he says at the top and it says it's a noun an insect or other agent that conveys pollen to a plant and so allows fertilization and keep in mind it doesn't have to be an insect uh, bats can be pollinators um, birds some birds can be pollinators I you know the list goes on got a little package of seeds here a pollinator mix of uh, seeds to get some wildflowers so that's exciting we've gotten a lot of these in boxes over the years which has been encouraging this is also by the way a box that gives back uh they give a dollar for each box in donation to plant trees and that's the instagram at relief l-e-a-f underscore m-i very cute um so i love boxes that give back of course all right, and you guys probably see and are very used to, in a bookish box, we get a reusable tote bag. This is by the company, uh, the bookstore that she goes to, R&B Used Books. I think this box generally has, like, gently used books, which I, I appreciate. I prefer paperback. I prefer used books. I don't need to spend the price on a new book. That's just me. Um, so let me know what you guys prefer down on the bottom. You knew or used hardback, paperback, etc, etc. These have two cats on them on the book pages. It's very cute. It's not the biggest tote bag in the world, but it's definitely a good size for books or something like that. Might actually have to keep mine in there because of the box kind of having honey all over it. All right, so I have gotten one of these blind date with a book box before, but I know some of you may have joined my channel since then or missed it. I will link it at the end cards and put it in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. Um, it was for the for Halloween and that was a lot of fun. I remember it was I loved it. It came with handmade pumpkins. It, it was a really really good box. Uh, I really liked it and it was a I think it was about thirty five dollars. I have a code to save you guys five dollars. Uh, Jesse M five not five dollars sorry five percent off of your order because she's planning to do a 
Beach Reads blind date with the book box in early June. They're hoping to start shipping June 6th, then have it be available to order June 6th through July 1st. So hopefully I will let you know more information about that. Please stay tuned to Instagram and my community tab. Um, and I will tell you as soon as I hear. And Instagram stories, really important spot to check notifications. But when I advertise this one, I even made a post on the Instagram page saying, hey, do you remember my blind date with the book box in Halloween? For those of you who were interested, here's your opportunity to get another one. So, but if you don't know how a blind book did, uh, blind date with a book box works. They basically have a little short questionnaire. You fill out your favorite genres, your favorite authors. Um, you might put in, they might ask you for books you don't want, if there's an author you don't like, or if it's because you already own like every book that the author writes or you know, whatever. You can also kind of like, kind of make suggestions or nods in certain ways. So with that, we're going to see what my blind date is. Oh, I love the washi tape uh, that she used around. <laughs> I'm noticing these things now that she used around my book. So this is Jessie who says, your blind date awaits. Yeah, I guess I put in nonfiction, you guys know. Uh, where possible, I, I really love nonfiction. Uh, animal rights, animal behavior, and communication. Definitely more towards the latter, the animal behavior and communication. I, I didn't I didn't specifically say animal rights, but it could have been based on the books that I had um, suggested or or asked for. So anyway, we're gonna see what this is, or maybe it's maybe that book was about animal rights and I didn't even realize it. Uh, that would be embarrassing. So basically just gonna open this up. It kinda kills me to kill the washi tape. But, or maybe I don't have to. See, look at washi tape. Washi tape is meant to be removed. Like I said, guys, I keep saying that in my crafting videos. Um, sorry for the ASMR, but kind of feels like Christmas. You know, I get to open a present. Ooh, this looks promising. Let's see, at least this one didn't get damaged by honey. Oh, what is this? You can tell I'm gonna like it, right? It is hardback, that's okay. Animal Kind, remarkable discoveries about animals and revolutionary new ways to show them compassion. I see a horse. <laughs> I also see the uh, animal of the month. If you guys are following my writings from the wild series, there's your hint. Uh, that's super exciting. Not to mention Pollinators, Catch April's uh, unboxing that I put up in May. Uh, but there's a little pony right there, oh my goodness. Hey, look at the back. <laughs> there's a rooster standing on the pony. I can tell you, most horses would not tolerate that, nor would you want it to with the, the claws on the roosters, you know. Um, we have a random floating fish. I <laughs> think this is awesome. Okay, so is that a cow? Oh, that's not a capybara. Uh, I mean, it. Oh, remember those really cute, cute animals? Um, I'm forgetting the name of them. It's like begins the Q, but I think this is a capybara. But there's those other ones. I just saw a picture of it today, randomly. Anyway. Praise for Animal Kind, and we have all of the quotes from the reviews on the back. <laughs> I remember seeing something like on a bookish post, like let's normalize bringing a synopsis back to the back cover instead of like praises and quotes from um, for the, for the book. I, they're so right about that. So it's uh, the founder and president of PETA and a New York Times best. Best-selling science and health writer explore together the wonderful of animal, wonders of animal life and other tools for living more kindly with them. Um, and hardcover has got a retail value of twenty-seven dollars, so it's definitely. A, I'm wondering what they. Oh, I got a little sheet in here. What do I have? Um, I saw something stapled, and I thought, what is this? This looks fun. I can't wait to read this. What is my stapled sheet? <laughs> 
Do -do. Okay. New book. Animal Kind explores all inspiring facts about animals' emotional lives and revolutionary new ways to show compassion. They're looking at animal kind and the compassion towards animals. And basically, um, this author is, you know, this uh, PETA founder teamed up with a science writer to allow humans to create a better world for animals. Such as, such as substituting apple or grape, grape leather for animal hide, synthetic frog models to replace the real ones used in school classrooms, advances in meat and dairy tastes, all like some plant-based nutrition and virtual reality animal tours that replace circus shows. Uh, just because I'm reading this, I want I don't want to say that I I'm for or against any of these things. I'm just literally reading what the paper has and what it, what what the book is about. Um, but they, I like I thought it was going in a different direction in the paragraph above. It said, in many exciting ways, all of us can prevent harm to animals. I was actually thinking more along the lines of as we become a more unfortunately industrialized and society we're taking away the habitats of animals and a lot of animals are having to adapt to urban areas for example in alaska you might see a moose walking down main street in some small town where that didn't used to happen it's because the new town or development is cutting off their habitat and their corridor maybe to travel from one area to the other. So that's why sometimes in other countries, I wish we had these, you'd see these animal bridges that go over top uh, that are all nature, inviting to animals, way more uh, inviting than a crossing the road, for example. So you'll see it go over top of a road for the animals. I was hoping it was going to be kind of along the lines of that, like don't leave your, tr your trash cans out if you're in a territory with bears because if bears end up coming in to, to eat the trash, most likely they're either gonna get removed or if, if they're multiple offenders, they might get killed because they don't want, you know, it's, it's the whole, if they harm a human, if they harm a human's pet, you know, it, it becomes a thing where it, it disrupts their life. It's not their fault that we're taking over their habitat. Enough said on that. I was hoping it was gonna go in that direction and maybe parts of it will. Um, but let's take a look at the second book. I think, I, I honestly can't remember if the second book is something we all get or if it was just a book that was going to be around nature on Earth Day because um, it was an Earth Day box. I honestly can't remember, but this is called The New Wilderness. Let me know, by the way, in the comments below if you've read either of these. Um, this is author, the same author of Man v. Nature, Diane Cook. I've heard of man v. nature. Um, anyway, the new wilderness is a, uh, I keep finding all these quotes. It's just like, I just want a brief synopsis. This is a paperback. It does look, I think it's gently used. It's possible some of the stains are from the honey. It was hard to tell. This was right up against the honey, so the back of this book. So I was a little bit worried and concerned about it. Um, but let's see. The synopsis of this book is Ben's five-year-old daughter, Agnes, is slowly wasting away, consumed by the smog and pollution of the overdeveloped metropolis that most of the population now calls home. If they stay in the city, Agnes will die. There is only one alternative, the wilderness state, the last swath of untouched, protected land where people have been forbidden until now. Uh, this is definitely fiction, <laughs> uh, but uh, Bia, Agnes's, sorry, Bia, Agnes, and 18 other volunteer to live in the wilderness state, guinea pigs in an experiment to see if humans can exist in nature without destroying it. Living as nomadic hunter-gatherers, they slowly and painfully learn to survive in an unpredictable, dangerous land, bickering and battling for power and control as they betray and save one another. This really doesn't sound like a book that would be up my alley per se, but um, it's more like a, I'm thinking Hunger Games, I'm thinking reality TV show. I, I, I do think of controlled environments that they've put humans in, but for purposes of space 
you know, can you all survive on the moon or on Mars for however many months or years, you know, the mission is going to take that kind of thing. It's kind of what this is reminding me of. Um, I guess you can think of it as homesteading or living off the land as well, but um, so this is Agnes embraces the wild freedom of this new existence. Bea realizes that saving her daughter's life means losing her in a different way. The farther, the further they get from civilization, the more their bond is tested in astonishing and heartbreaking ways. So I do see honey uh, on the bottom right there of this book. It certainly didn't ruin it by any means, but it's not obviously desired. Um, it looks like there's some streaks of it throughout that book in the back there, so I'll just be careful with that. Uh, like I said, that was right up against the sticky jar. I mean, my whole hand was sticky when I opened it. So anyway, um, I'm real, don't blame the, you know, the curator or, or, you know, I don't blame anybody for getting a book that I might not necessarily be interested in reading. Um, I'm very picky <laughs> when it comes to reading uh, books. I, I, and maybe, I can't remember if I, at one point, I was reading kind of fantasy, and I watched science fiction TV. This almost sounds like a bit of an uh, um, apocalyptic type scenario, which, I mean, TV series, Handmaid's Tale, I love that. You know what I mean? So I guess this, it, I, you, the way animals were added, the way it was, this, I don't know, there was something about it. Um, but yeah, The Handmaid's Tale, for example, is a great series, so I don't know exactly what I'm having trouble with with this. This is more Hunger Games to me. <laughs> but anyway, so let me know what you guys think of this box. Personally, I'm a, I liked the Halloween box much better. It might just be that I liked, well, I mean, I really thought I'd let, you know, Earth Day items are right up my alley. Um, but those pumpkins, those hand-knit pumpkins were adorable. I like the little hand knit, um, what they call it, a mug rug that uh, you could put your, your coffee or tea mug on that was also handmade. It was in these cute, cute little Halloween fabric. You guys can check it out on, in the video below in the description box or on my Instagram where I advertise this one. But again, definitely stay tuned because in the beginning of June, all through June, is going to be the Beach Reads box. And the Halloween books were actually perfect matches for me uh, so I would say too don't don't be discouraged she's ma you know she's done really good matches and I think the things I asked for were probably obscure and probably not available or not available in time um, so we'll see what the price of the June box was in the past days like I said they've been about $35 and I'll have a code, this JM5, to save you 5% on your purchase. So, you guys, let me know what you think of this book box. Um, I love getting book boxes. I I know having saying how picky I am, but there are ones that let you pick your genre or pick your book, or you can only subscribe if you're getting certain themes if you want, you know. Um, there's one very special one that only deals with the classics. I do like classics classic fiction um but with the earth day theme i definitely was trying to go for the non-fiction uh but this must I th i'm thinking this is what everybody got i'll try to find out bef hopefully before i edit and after um planning on posting this i will try to find out and edit it in the spring anyway if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button it's free and uh so you can see a wide variety of just about everything these days. Um, stationery, crafts, jewelry, book boxes, uh, Fat Fit Fun, etc., etc. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me, helps my channel. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Bye.